Hello and welcome to my channel. Now you join me here heading towards Black Hill above the village of Home. Now I parked up in the pub car park, the Fleece, and I've made my way the direct route right up to here and I've joined the Pennine Way. So we're heading up towards Black Hill. There is a trig point up there. And today I am uh, scouting for a place to do my first wild camp of this year. So we're getting some good weather. It is windy up here, but uh, down there it is actually a gorgeous day. Still a little bit cool but uh, great for walking so I hope you're going to join me on this walk to uh, scout out a little place to uh, to wild camp and I will be doing that in this vlog so uh, this is the day before the wild camp just having a look around and uh, tomorrow I am going to be actually camping out so as we flatten out here at the top near uh, Black Hill near the trig point I can't actually see it it's uh, it's, it's over this way somewhere it's over there. Uh, we'll soon get to the trig point. Um, I've been looking around as it flattens out on the top here and uh, with there being so much uh, rain lately it's very wet so when I go into the sheltered places it's very soft peat so uh, I'm struggling so far to find somewhere nice and sheltered to pitch the tent tomorrow. You can see uh, home moss mast there behind me and uh, I'm sure I'll be getting a little bit close to that as well. So I'm about 1900 foot up and uh, we're getting close to the trig point at uh, Black Hill and you can see that there's still a lot of water on the ground. So I'm really finding it difficult, like I say, to uh, find a, a decent place to pitch the tent, but I am determined to find one and I learned from last time that you've got to do these little trips out and find exactly where you're going to put your tent. So uh, yeah, I'm going to continue to find a place and I will find one. So. Uh, Stay with me. You can just about make out uh, Emily Moore Mast in the distance way behind. So we've got the trick point over here. You might be able to just make it out. You might be able to just see it there on the horizon. So yes, on top of Black Hill, about 1,900 foot up, and uh, there's a home moss mast over there as well. And you can just see the top of Emily Moore mast. Maybe you can just make that out as well. So I'm glad that I've reached this trick point. I haven't been up here before. And uh, I am looking, as you know, I'm looking for a place to, uh, to wild camp tomorrow. I can't even uh, get over there, but look at the, how boggy it is over there. So yeah, I'm struggling, struggling to find somewhere. Later on in the year, obviously this will all dry out and it'll be absolutely gorgeous. But uh, I don't want to be uh, pitching the tent where it's on damp land. I need to find somewhere nice and dry. We'll leave the trick point behind for now and uh, continue my search for a good place to pitch the tent. It's 20 minutes since I last spoke to you and I've been constantly searching for a place to pitch the tent tomorrow and uh, I can't find one. I'm determined not to fail, but it's so wet and uneven underfoot. I'm so glad that I've learned my lesson since the last time because you just can't uh, just wing it and come out and think that you're gonna find somewhere. It just might not exist. Um, I've come really off piece now, so I've come away from the Pennine Way and uh, there's no paths here. I've come over this way. I found this little spot here, but it's so uneven and still wet underfoot. I do have a ground sheet to put underneath the tent, so that'll keep some of the moisture off. I'm never gonna find anywhere that's bone dry. Not at this time of year. There's a few sheep down there and uh, they'll be the only ones that are uh, stopping out here tomorrow night. <laughs> No, I'm going to find somewhere. I'm determined to actually do that. I can't. I've been waiting too long for the better weather. 
and I say better weather, the weather changes so fast up here, just about uh, 10 minutes ago there was actual hail, just a few bits of hail came over. That's what you get in West Yorkshire up here on uh, Black Hill and we're very close to uh, home moss of course as well. So uh, yeah, the weather is changeable. Um, determined to find somewhere so I'm going to continue looking. Okay, so I think I found it, and it wasn't, uh, it was only about uh, 50 meters away from where I was stood previously. And it's just, just there, it's just a nice little, little flat spot there, and it's raised up so uh, the water has actually drained out of that little part of the moor, so it is quite dry. So it's going to be just there, and we've got a great view, and I say we, because I'm not doing this uh, wild camp solo. Someone very special is coming with me on my first wild camp of this year, so I'm not doing it alone. So uh, stick around for that. So uh, that's it, I found the spot, and unless I find somewhere on the way back, I will be still looking as I uh, hike back, um, unless I find somewhere else, this is the spot, and it's gonna be my first wild camp of this year and I'm not doing it alone. Uh, let me know in the comments section below what you think of the uh, spot, does it look good? And uh, any tips for finding a place in uh, really wet weather in this uh, boggy uh, moorland that we've got. Uh, I think I've done okay there. It is really flat and I realised from previous that uh, you have to find somewhere very flat to get a good night's sleep. I'll be doing well to uh, get better than this place because it's in a little bit of a dip. It's in a little bit of a dip this way. The wind blows over this way so um, we're protected uh, when we're low down. You can see the wind blowing now but when we're uh, low down here it's a little bit more protected from the wind so I'm hoping I chose really well. So I'm just sitting here getting a coffee. I did bring a flask and I did prepare with a few sandwiches and I've enjoyed this view. This is the view that I've had while I've been having a, a nice uh, warm cup of coffee. So the next time I see you, it will be tomorrow and uh, I'll be on my way up here with a special guest who is uh, camping out with me and uh, we'll be doing the first wild camp of 2020 and it's all going towards my uh, training for my coast to coast which I'm doing in September and I will be solo while camping all the way well maybe not all the way um, I have been told that is a little bit ambitious but uh, I'm hoping to wild camp most of the way and this is all part of the training so uh, I hope you're going to join me tomorrow Good morning, it is tomorrow, it is the next day and we, <laughs> we did do, and I say we because I've got the gorgeous Sheila in the tent there, we did do our first wild camp of 2020 and it was freezing so this vlog is going to end very quick, it's still so cold up here on Black Hill and uh, the frost on the ground as you can see and the tent is completely frozen. All the outside of the tent is frozen and uh, a prob <laughs> God knows what I look like. Uh, yeah, really freezing night, uh, but we did get the wild camp done. So we're gonna pack up now and get down the hill. I might have another word with you later on when I get down the bottom of the hill. But uh, yeah, in fact, I'm not going to. I'm gonna pack up and uh, get down to the car and uh, I'm gonna pack, I'm gonna pack up. Oh God. So we're gonna pack up now. Um, it's about six o'clock in the morning and uh, get down to the car, which is about, uh, about six miles away and, uh, and get warm. It has been absolutely freezing, freezing cold. Uh, and uh, well, I suppose I've enjoyed it as my first one this year but uh, the temperature was so low, unbelievable. But I suppose we've enjoyed it and uh, really glad that Sheila joined me on my first one. I think Sheila will give us a wave from the tent. Where are you, Sheila? 
There she is, look. Yeah. <laughs> so my special guest was the gorgeous Sheila. And uh, yeah, we did it, we did it. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna pack up now and get down to the car. So we've got about a six mile uh, trek to do back to the car. It was absolutely freezing. So this vlog is going to end right here. The sun is coming up, hopefully that'll warm us up. The frost is on the ground. I've got the tent to wipe down. We did have a bottle of wine. <laughs> so we have enjoyed ourselves. Uh, so that's it from this one. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, and uh, I just thought I'd let you know that I have got my first wild camp done. I upload a vlog every week. So if you're interested in wild camping, the coast to coast, I'm doing that in September, of course. And that's what this is all about, the training for my coast to coast. So if you're interested in any of that, consider subscribing. And if I don't see you through the week, I will see you in the next one. Bye.